Hi, my name is Dulce Hill, and I want to talk about the Ocrevez or Ocrevez hype that is going on um, around and, and how people are coming up to me and saying this is a miracle drug. Everybody with progressive MS needs to be on it. So I want to caution people about this. Ocrevez and rituximab, they work the same B cell. They work by killing the same B cell. It's a monoclonal antibody or uh, chemo agent, not chemotherapy, that kills, specifically kills that B cell that is responsible for causing damage in MS. So what does this mean to us? This means that uh, um, a lot of this, you have um, a lot of this is uh, preventive maintenance. So it, it only will help people with progressive MS that is active. What does active mean? Active means that you've had attacks or you're, you're trying to prevent future attacks from happening. Very few people with secondary progressive MS have an active disease course. Now I've Googled it, I've searched, I've, I've scanned everything and I wanted to know what is the percentage of people with secondary progressive MS that have uh, um, active disease uh, and need to be treated with a medication to prevent further damage from happening that when that goes into the chronic progressive stage or the uh, secondary chronic progressive stage, you're going to have um, uh, nerve failure with that. So uh, I couldn't find it. Basically, I am a person with active secondary progressive MS that needs to be on a disease modifying medication. Uh, I chose to be on rituximab because rituxin has an 11 year study program that, that they analyze people taking it every six months being infused by it who had uh, rheumatoid arthritis and uh, these people didn't get cancer, they didn't have any long term effects and it helped their, their uh, arthritis, their rheumatoid arthritis. Well. The, the main difference between Ocrevez and, and Rituxin is that Rituxin is based on a uh, animal, um, a mouse uh, uh, therapy that it was manufactured through, through being effective with mice. It's not human based. The drawback to that when you have MS is that it can, uh, uh, your body can develop a resistance to it. Whereas in rheumatoid arthritis, it doesn't. Um, but with MS, you can develop a resistance to that, which will affect your use of Ocrevez. Ocrevez is uh, uh, based on a hum it's human. It's very uh, natural for your body to absorb. So there's less uh, injection reactions or infusion reactions. However, uh, and you won't get used to it, but the problem is, is that there's side effects that if you have cancer that runs in your family, you really gotta consider uh, the risk you can get getting this. Um, is your risk larger um, of having active MS or is it greater getting cancer? These are things you can only answer for yourself. You have to weigh out uh, the risk you want. See, they, um, my doctors at Hopkins took me off a of medication. Uh, I didn't, you know, it's partially my fault because I didn't tell them that I knew I had an active disease, active secondary progressive MS, and that against the risk of me going on medications, it was worth that risk to me because I knew if I wasn't on medications, I was going to have a terrible attack. They pulled me off medications and for eight months I wasn't on medications and I had a catastrophic attack that left me kind of like, uh, uh, like the symptoms of PML. I, it really kind of garbaged me and will probably leave me in really bad shape in 10 to 20 years. However, right now I'm doing well 
and and uh, the rituxin is gonna ha I took last year and my my B cells are low. Good news is that I'm not gonna have any attacks. Bad news is that the one that I had with active having active MS uh, and not being treated is is you know it, it's a terrible attack that that really caused me to. Uh, need to, to always use the walker because I'm too dizzy. All right, bottom line is, is it reasonable to uh, take or to abstain from a medication when your family, your, your cancer runs big in your family? Are your odds more likely to die from exposing yourself to cancer? Or, or the other side effects, um, or are your your odds better at at not having a um, active MS? Anyway, God bless you. Please subscribe. I, I just had to get that off uh, my chest. Uh, go to msfrontiers.org and look at all the resources we have for you. We have some six different support groups. Um, this this YouTube page is is just something that I do because I've got so much information in my head and it'll explode if I don't get it out. So uh, anyway, God bless you. Subscribe and keep coming back.